I, today I'm wearing kind of a, a system that I've built that allows me to move widgets around at least as done at one time. So you can use this to build video editors, uh, media editors so that your users can move around the widgets that represent those movie sections or those meeting notes at one time. Um, I'll be using this plugin called Enhanced UI. Um, I have some assets that I've pre-created here so that this view is not too long. So first is the smart widget host, just a user widget. But the important class in here is the smart canvas panel. So if you go over here and let you search smart canvas panel, if you read the tool, tool, tool tip, it will say the smart canvas panel is meant to hold smart widgets. Meaning as a base class, it provides basic functionality needed to move smart widgets around. Smart widgets uh, will just uh, report the input to the smart canvas panel, allowing them to be dragged around, moved, and resized. Okay. So you can think of MIDI notes, or you can think of um, uh, movie sections in a movie editor, or sections in the sequencer. Those would be your smart widgets. And they all need to be the child, a child of the smart canvas panel so that the user can move them around. Okay, so let's create our smart widget. Here's a smart widget. Um, creating it is pretty easy. So your user interface, widget blueprint, and then look for smart widget. All right, and then choose this one. This is a class that you want. And that's what we chose here. Whatever you add here is up to you. All right, you can add as many things as you want. What we've done here for demo purposes is we've only added an image and we'd wish for this smart widget not to be resized and moved around the smart canvas panel. So what I've did here, I've placed the canvas panel on the right so that you can see um, that the widgets that are within here are constrained. So we are able to search for WBP my smart widget and then add it to our smart canvas panel. So here's our WP smart widget. We are adding it to our smart canvas panel as a child. Now in the smart widget map, it's just a map like if we open the level blueprint. You can see that we are just creating it and we are creating our smart widget host, this guy. So if you press run, you see that this little guy here, you can move him, all right, and he stays within the smart canvas panel. You can resize him and then up and down. So that's the user at one time, moving the smart canvas panel within bounds. The small canvas panel can host as many widgets as it likes. So if you add another widget, and then let's come over here, and then change the image for the second one to be screenshot two. If we run this, we will now have two widgets that can both be resized and moved around. All right. So that's the first step you need if you're going to create um, resizable objects at one time. So your smart widgets can represent something. This image can represent the MIDI note because if you go to the smart widget and you search for represented um, object, you can see that it has that. And you should override this function to obtain the U, the U object that this widget represents. So, in our other example, the more advanced one is 
this smart widgets that you see here it uh, represents uh, AX MIDI note so that's what it represents um, yeah so these smart widgets that you see here are parts of the enhanced UI plugin that you can find on the Unreal Engine marketplace okay so um, one other thing that I'd like to cover is that you can lock smart, smart widget handles. Like if I go to smart widget host right here and then I want to lock one of these guys handles. So I want to lock the top handle and the bottom handle. Alright. It's not enabled. And you can change the cursors here to different types of cursors. When I launch this, you can see that I can still move this and resize it from the left, but I can't resize from top and bottom. Only this one can be resized from the top and bottom. Okay. So, there's a lot of things to cover with this plugin. So, I just covered this one. In the last uh, video, I covered the uh, separate 3D report and widgets, um, then the multi window system and the language system. So if you can combine these concepts, you can build this type of UI, this complex UI. Now, it'll be too much for me to cover everything in one video, so that's why I'm separating all of these. But you combine all of these tools here, they're already combined because I already have an example here, to build any type of UI that um, you need, okay, so